Grand Junction, my name is Whitney Robison, and thank you so much once again for tuning in. Even though I forced most of you to watch my show afterwards on Facebook, I still sincerely appreciate everyone who watches. Last episode, I had Jacob Grillet on the show, a young CMU alumni who was diagnosed with MS at a very young age. That was a tough story to beat, and so today we're going to switch things up a little bit and bring two guests on the show to talk about something completely different rugby. The CMU Women's Rugby Club has been dominating their sport for many years now beating teams by over 100 points most games. Let's take a quick look into the tough life of a CMU women's rugby athlete. Please welcome Priscilla Rain and Delilah Fuataga. Fuataga? <laughs> I always mess it up. Oh, that was a crazy video. So uh, how long have you guys been playing rugby for? I've been playing for four years now. Four years? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. What got you guys into playing rugby here? She did. <laughs> she got me into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It sucked at first, but once I picked it up, yeah. It was, it's fun and it still is one of the best sports I've ever played. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to play in high school. Yeah. Um, we had like rugby club sports. I tried to join, but my family wouldn't let me. Oh. So when I came out here, I was like, ah, I don't really have, <laughs> can't really tell me what I can and can't yeah. do now. So. So, so what sports then did you guys play in high school? We both play, we're on the paddling team in high school. 
And I played volleyball as well. With paddling, softball, and track. Paddling, wow. Where did you guys go to high school? Where did you, where are you guys from? We're from Hawaii. Same island or? Yep. Same island, same D high school. Same high school too? Same high school. I did not know that. Town. Were you guys friends in high school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yep. That's crazy. I had no idea. Wow. Well, tell us about your season this year. Uh, like I said before, you guys have been whooping teams by 100 points or more, uh, give or take a few, but like just dominating. Uh, tell us about that. How does that feel? <laughs> it's fun. It gets a little boring because there's, there's not much comp competition, yeah. but it gives us practice time with our team to prepare us to play those exactly. good teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And last season, I feel like, last season and like all the previous seasons, seasons I've seen you guys play, I feel like it's pretty much the same almost every year. Up until you guys get into playoffs, um, you still win a lot of games. But how is that transition from dominating teams from 100 points to like playing teams just as good as you guys? Uh, it's a little bit hard. Yeah, um, it's definitely an eye opener. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. We like it takes the first game like that we play like we had we it's hard to adjust but once like once that one is over like we're more prepared yeah for the next games to come yeah, yeah. And you guys are almost in playoffs correct yep two more games two more and games and playoffs. we're hosting regionals who 29th do you ninth and thirtieth 29th thirtieth yeah. who do you guys play next we play University of Northern <coughs> Colorado gotcha this Sunday. Gotcha. What, so last year you guys were the CMU Women's Club Sports Team of the Year, and your coach was uh, the coach of the year for the club sports team. Uh, how is that honor? How does that feel? Do you, does it feel good? Um, well, definitely all the honor to the coach. Yeah. Right. She's a great coach. Yeah. Um, she's a good coach on and off the field. She has to be there for mm -hmm. everyone. She's good at teaching a group of a bunch of different girls. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um, what do you guys got to prepare for for season? Like, what do you, what lifestyle changes do you have to make for the sport? Because this is a, as we saw from the video, a very intense sport. Uh, well, the weather for one, um, it's getting colder, so that we have to adjust to. I hate being cold. Mm -hmm. I come from sea level, two seasons year round. I hate the cold. Yeah. Um, rugby is definitely a tough sport, so trying to stay in shape year round. Yeah. Trying to make sure you're still working out during summer break, winter break, whatnot. Yeah. Is um, hard because food is good. Like well, food. yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't but, love food? Uh, and um, during season, we have Mac makes us uh, sign a contract, and it's basically honoring the team where we basically do dry season, so no drinking, smoking, any type of thing, which is good. Yeah. And so holds us accountable and whatnot. It's just try to make us better as a team. Dry season. Wow. Yeah, because rugby is seen as like a. To society, I feel like, is seen as a drinking sport. But <laughs> I don't think what people realize is that uh, your club is the total opposite. Yep. And that's pretty. that's pretty amazing thing. Um, so when people join the rugby team, do you see a lot of girls, like, drop out fast because it might be too intense for them or they're confused? Like, what kind of girls play rugby? What does it take? Um, it, rugby takes anyone, any yeah. type of size, how, no matter how big you are, how small mm -hmm. you are, how tall, how short you are. You just have to have heart to want to play. And, you know, mm -hmm. We take like ex-athletes from other sports such as basketball, soccer, softball, pretty much any, any sport. We even had a cheerleader who, yeah, went from cheerleading to rugby, mm -hmm. a, gymna a gymnast. Um, yeah, so we get ex-athletes who still want to play sports, but that can't play that particular yeah. sport, so. The majority of the girls who come out, they usually stay, but um, when we start to see a decline is usually after hitting, once mm -hmm. we, after we have our first hitting tackling yeah. practice, mm -hmm. that's when more girls start Yeah, to. and before we wrap up, what would you um, say to someone who wanted to play rugby? You never know unless you try it. Yep. Wow. Don't be afraid. Don't awesome, be afraid. ladies. Well, thank you for joining the show today. Sincerely appreciate it. Uh, viewers, I hope that uh, you learn more about rugby, and I hope that you come out. Um, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for tuning in, Grand Junction. The CME rugby team, as I said earlier, is hosting regionals on the 29th and 30th of this month. Times and opponents are to be determined. We hope to see you all there. Until next time, CMU, stay safe and have fun. What's going on, Grand Junction?